I have traveled extensively around the world. I have driven everywhere too. Tokyo, Mexico City, Cairo, London, and even Rome. Now, let's talk about Italy. I don't go there that often, I have only been there four times. The first time was about 20 years ago. Driving in Rome was even crazier than Mexico City. Hardly anybody stopped at red lights. The cops that watched them did it didn't do anything. People, mainly foreigners, who stopped at stop signs were mercilessly honked at and called names, telling them to move. As a California native, we called it a California stop. The difference was that we would slow down then proceed. In Italy, people barreled through as if the stop signs didn't exist. Fast forward to 2017, my last trip to Italy. I drove through Italy and saw that everybody stopped at red lights. Even stop signs. And that was in Rome. I was surprised at the improvement. My Italian friend who passed away told me it was the camera enforcement. However, I managed to garner 12 tickets for ZTL. Italian for limited traffic zone. None of the signs were in English and I had no idea what they were for. During my four-day stay in Italy, I got tickets from Pisa, Rome, and Florence. My car had French plates, but that didn't seem to matter in Italy. The way it was done, Italian enforcement agencies notified my car rental company, the car rental company was required by law to pass along my name and address. Every time that happened, the car rental company charged me $35. My phone vibrated whenever my credit card was charged. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 13 and stopped. All that within two weeks after I returned to California. A total of $450. Then I received a letter from the French police. A photo radar ticket going 142 on 130, and it allowed me to pay by credit card. I fully expected more letters to come soon, but none came. Not even three months later. Six months. Nine months. By the time I thought I was in the free and clear. No, the remaining 12 came in almost a year later, and all were from Italy. There were various municipalities, Florence, Pisa, and Rome. The fines ranged from 70 euros to 88 euros. None offered me the option to pay via credit card. I had to do it via IBAN, but my credit union could not do that. Nobody knew how. Either way, it was utterly ridiculous. Why did the Italians wait for a year before sending me the letters? They already had my name and address, yet they chose to sit on it. I started to read various forums about people dealing with ZTL tickets. Many claimed it was a scam. No. It is not a scam, I am 100% positive on this. But you might want to do it the way I handled it. I had no plans to return to Italy in the immediate future. The irony was that all the letters said there would be a discount if I paid within 5 days. All the letters took more than 5 days to arrive from Italy, so the discounts were no longer valid. Unable to pay through IBAN, the fines began increasing. Then about 2 years later, in 2019, I received a letter from a US-based collections agency. Cedar Financial Services. They were professional about everything. Luckily, I had read in other forums that their collection effort will not appear in my credit report. That is because they are attempting to collect a debt that is out of their jurisdiction. And some have said it is because I did not sign anything agreeing to the debt. Of course, I did not sign anything agreeing to the fines. So it is not enforceable, but they can always try to scare people. They called me a few times, so I changed my number. They sent me letters every few months or so, with futile attempts to sweeten the offer. Pay within a few days, and there'd be a generous discount. I still ignored all that. I also read that there is a five-year statute of limitations in Italy. Sure enough, the collection's letters ceased five years later in 2022. I have not heard from them since then. My credit score is still intact. I have returned to Europe a few times since then. No problem whatsoever.